Hi, I'm Antonio Centeno, the founder of Roman Real Style. Today, we're going to be talking about matching metals and matching leathers in menswear. Okay, if you haven't already, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. By doing that, these videos will come right to you. In addition, if you like this, if you find it useful, I would appreciate it if you would like it down below. And last but not least, if you haven't grabbed my free 47-page ebook, make sure to grab it. You'll be able to see it, and it, the link's right down there, but we'll also link you to a great article. But I said that was the last thing I was going to mention, so technically I couldn't mention that last article, but I did anyway. Okay, this is the question. Hello, Antonio. I've got an interesting question. It's a simple rule that your belt should match your dress shoes. However, I'm wondering about your dress watch. If I'm wearing brown dress shoes and a brown belt with a silver buckle, should my watch have a brown band and silver rim? What if I wear a watch with a gold rim or a black band? Maybe I'm paying too much attention to detail. Thank you very much, Raymond. All right, Raymond, I've got some bad news for you. If all of your metals and all of your leathers do not match exactly, one year from the date that you wear this outfit, you will turn to dust. Sorry to deliver this news to you, man. All right. Now, seriously. <laughs> Okay, so you are paying a little bit too much. I mean, the general rule is leathers match leather. Metals match metals. But there are exceptions to that rule. And probably the one I can think of for most men is you simply don't have enough metals and enough, enough leathers to make sure they match exactly, especially when it comes to items like a watch. You've got a favorite watch. You've got one that you just love to wear, your only really nice dress watch perhaps, and it doesn't match your belt or your shoes. In that case, wear it. It's, it's a very small detail, something that if you get fit fabric and style, which I harp on all the time, if you get those right, this is going to be a small thing. And you could even, if you understand that those are the rules, but you decide to break it anyway because that watch has sentimental value to you, all, all the more power to it. And that takes me to the second thing, is that you've got an item that has sentimental value, such as a wedding ring. My wedding ring is silver. Now, most of the metals I wear are silver. I'm not a big fan of yellow gold. So, I keep everything silver, keep it simple. But most men, their wedding rings are gold. And if they like silver and most everything else is silver, of course, they're always going to have that mismatched. But it's a small detail. It's a sentimental detail. And on that case, you can bend and break the rules. The other one's going to be how small is the item. And that's, I'll leave that as lack because I was going to say visibility, but it really comes down to how small it is and is it even visible. So, in this case, this is very small. Now, if I'm wearing a huge ring, let's say I'm a Texas A&M uh, Aggie, and I've got that huge ring, which those guys, you know, they're just, well, we'll ask an Aggie to see those rings. I mean, I don't see, that those things are just huge. <laughs> In any case, he'll want to be a little bit more attuned to that ring matching some of the metal, just because of its visibility. Now, when it comes to buckles, if you're wearing a suit all of the time, and you've always got your jacket on, Technically, no one's ever going to see that buckle. So, let's say you're wearing a pair of monk strap dress shoes and they've got a silver buckle on them and your, your, uh, your belt has a gold buckle. Well, keep your jacket on and all of a sudden, because it's invisible, no one's going to know. Now, if you're the kind of guy you take your jacket off quite a bit, then you're going to have a mismatch metal. Now, the same thing with leathers. Again, those same things are going to apply. You want to try to match your leathers, but you don't have to match them exactly. And this really applies to browns because browns, there are so many different shades. And if you try to get your shoes to match your, you know, your leathers, your leather shoes to match your leather belt exactly, you're going to be hard pressed, especially if you condition or you polish your shoes quite a bit because over time, they're going to change in color. A quick trip, the, or quick tip though, is if you're out buying a new pair of shoes, make sure to get a belt, especially if you're looking at browns, light colored browns especially. Find something when you're out buying the shoes, when you have the shoes with you, that matches. Purchase it, take it home, you're going to be good to go. Um, blacks, that's why it's so easy, and again, why blacks are the realm of. Every man should have black shoes and a black belt. They're the most conservative, the most simple, and they're also the easiest to match, of course. All right, Raymond, hopefully that answered your question. And you will not turn to dust. You'll turn to stone, actually. But 
Take care. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.